It was the missile attack on a medical centre that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky described as a crime against humanity. Four died and over 30 were wounded, including psychiatrist Serhi. He'd just finished seeing a patient who has war-related anxiety when the missile struck. Yes, she had panic attacks. She's alive. We called her. She managed to go outside. Sir, he was not so lucky. He will be in hospital for another six months. My pelvis is shattered. My left femur is shattered. I don't know how many ribs are broken. Five or six. The ethmoid bone on my face is broken. A closed cranial cerebral injury. 80-year-old Dimitro was walking past the medical centre when the missile hit. I just heard the sound and saw with my eyes a huge rocket. It was a fraction of a second and an explosion. I was thrown away. When I came to, I was lying on my back in a pool of blood. One arm was torn off, the other was crushed. Russia continues to target the civilian population here by launching missiles like the one that hit this medical facility. But if President Putin is trying to break the will of the Ukrainian people, it's not working. Send more. Send at least 10 more. It won't make any difference. Putin can't escape defeat. He didn't expect such resistance from the Ukrainian army and people. Defiance in the face of destruction. Steve Kinane, ABC News, Dnipro.